the six times Oscar nominated film Carol is absolutely gorgeous. I love this film and it's very easy to see why. So this was released in 2015, directed by Todd Haynes with a screenplay by Phyllis Nagy and based on the novel The Price of Salt by, by Patricia Highsmith. Very interesting that they changed the name of the novel or changed the name of the adaptation. Um, it doesn't happen that often, but sometimes it does and I'd be quite curious to know why they decided to do that. I haven't read the novel. If you have read it, I'd love to know how it compares. Um, I might read it because this narrative is definitely something that I find really interesting. I I don't want to go into too much detail about the narrative, the ins and outs of it, because it's so beautiful and I think you just need to just, as long as it sounds like your kind of thing, you definitely just need to jump into it and enjoy it as it unfolds. Um, I've also just read some extra description on IMDb. Carol is the name of the book when it was published in the United Kingdom in 1990. Uh, so that answers that question. I'll read a little bit of the description from IMDb, and this reads as follows. In an adaptation of Patricia Highsmith's seminal novel, The Price of Salt, Carol follows two women from, the very, from very different backgrounds who find themselves in an unexpected love affair in 1950s New York. And that's all you're getting. I'm not going into anything else. I will say um, there's an age gap between the two of them, which I think makes for very interesting viewing. This lesbian love affair of two individuals who are from very different backgrounds, very different walks of life, really very different personalities. It is really interesting to watch it unfold because they're both getting very different things from this relationship. At times it's very unclear where it's going and certainly, and I'm not going to spoil this of course, but I often found that it was really unclear where the ending would be, uh, which was good. It was really nice to kind of be curious about where it was going and what would be the outcome for certain characters it's stunning it's poetic visually it is gorgeous in terms of the cinematography it is so beautiful the costumes are lovely the dialogue is beautiful the acting is great um Kate Blanchett plays Carol and Rooney Mara plays Teresa uh great supporting cast we have Sarah Paulson um a lot of other great actors, I think. It's very well cast across the board. And I really like Kate Blanchett, so that made me quite happy. Rooney Mara, I think... I think... This was the first Rooney Mara film that I saw. And what a fantastic introduction to her work this was. It's absolutely gorgeous. The music's really nice. It's got a, it's just got a fantastic vibe and feel to it. Obviously, you need to like lesbian films. Unfortunately, some people just don't enjoy watching that kind of thing because they're old-fashioned or they're just older. Um, A friend of mine who was in her 80s absolutely would not watch this even though I think it's a gorgeous film. So obviously, although it's exceptionally well received, there will be some people who are not going to enjoy it. It is 7.2 out of 10 on IMDb with a meta score of 94, which is just ridiculous. That's incredible. That's a fantastic score. And in terms of the nominations, it didn't actually win an Oscar, which I find very odd. Um, But it was uh, nominated for Best Performance by an Actress in Leading and Supporting, Best Writing, Best Cinematography, Costume Design and Music Written for Motion Pictures. It was nominated for several Golden Globes. It was nominated for several BAFTAs. It didn't win any of these, and I don't know why. Maybe 2015-16 was just a phenomenal year for film and the competition was horrifically tough. But I think it should have... I mean, it wasn't even nominated for Best Picture, which is just bizarre. For reference, the films that were nominated for Best Picture that year were Spotlight, which I never hear anybody talk about, Bridge of Spies, Brooklyn, Mad Max Fury Road, Room, which is just amazing and should have won, The Big Short, The Martian, also a good film, and The Revenant. So, tough year in terms of Room and The Martian, but never mind. It doesn't matter that it didn't win the Oscars or the BAFTAs or the Golden Globes or anything else because it's a beautiful, exquisite film. I don't know if it's my favourite from 2015, but it's certainly up there. Is it my favourite Kate Blanchett film? I think it might just be. 
if it sounds like your kind of film, which I really hope it does because it's beautiful, definitely give it a go and let me know what you think of it. I am actually right now going to see if I can find the novel. I'll be able to find the novel because I think it's one that I'll really like. Fingers crossed it's good. Carol is perfect.